What's happening, Sukta? I I don't know. You know what's happening? It seems as if the ancestors don't want us to do this interview. Why is it I... even now we're giving away a cheesy? <laughs> yeah. Are you so, trying to sabotage her? Aish, Lene Twek, Yazin. No. No, but I think it's like better uh, now. Yeah. I think there's, there's, someone is sabotaging us. Just because we said we're giving away a t-shirt. Now, all of a sudden, network issues. We've never had network issues before. I don't know. Yazin. Yeah, Let's just let's just say a small prayer. A small prayer we will assist. Yeah, guys on the on the comments can, can you can you please just pray for us because this is the first time ever this thing is happening. Apparently One, it's sweet and sisters. <laughs> That's what school said. Oh, not South African. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. As long as it's on that side, not on our side, then it's fine. Yeah, before we we got cut off, you were trying to tell me about your move from HPC to Janine team. How was how was the oh. transition? Oh, the thing. Oh, Coco HPC. We we did not have a team. It was just academy in J. So no mm. not so I didn't have a team in Gadala and Gaidala and Gosa So remember we we went for a shoot Yabanyana and I had a chat Limpumi. Mpumi mm. asked me and then asked me who Linda, which team do you play for now? I'm like actually as in I don't have a team. I'm not team and I'm looking for one. And then Mpumi was like you should actually come to JVW, you know? And that's how it started. I'm like, yeah, I'll come. She's like, okay, let's, today we'll go take pictures and register you. That's how, that's how I went to JVW. Yeah, and, and you stayed at JVW, how was it like? It was amazing, amazing. You know, I enjoyed every moment, every moment. And I remember that 2016, it was the first time we went to the playoff. Yeah. Unfortunately, we, we came second. Mm. But I, I didn't play the final because Nekile go Dizon 16. Nekile Dizon 16 was for under 20. So it was so oh, unfortunate. Huh? Was it the Cooks again? The Zone 6 ones? Yeah, the Zone 6. Maybe it was only six back then. I get to know the video. Yeah, I was so sad that I played the finals, but yeah, but I enjoyed every moment of it. Mm. Amazing teammates. They support you off and off on the field. So it was just amazing. And, and also one thing that has been, I think it has been a problem or a challenge, if I can put it like that, when it comes to women's football in the country, it's having the, um, a professional league. And now you guys went and played overseas without really playing in the professional setup in the country. Would you say that was a disadvantage or an advantage for you when you guys started moving abroad? I mean, yeah, Costa Africa, Shem, I think, I think I'm glad now that it's developing, you know, now that we have National League, it's something. But I think with us, what helped us, it's, it was us qualifying for World Cup. I think okay. it played a huge role because if Wabona, you have your Bambanani, you have your Fifi, your Jermaine, like a lot of players, immediately after World Cup, they went abroad. So, even though it's not a professional setup, and a uh, World Cup really helped us. Mm. Actually, let me let me say, qualifying for Afcon, it was it was the first step for us. It was the first step for us, and then World Cup was just the second step. But yeah, I'm glad that 
South African football it's developing even though it's a developing like as quickly as we want it to be but it's getting somewhere it's getting yeah, somewhere it's, it's a process we we're not going to just be there so it's going to yeah. take time it's going to take it, time and, but yeah. i hope and pray that eventually things will fall into place and also yeah. when you got in, into the national team setup around 2016 there were senior players there were players there that had been playing for years Toki Mbumi um you Jermaine just to name a few were you not scared being part of the setup Ah, and the fact that he's shy, you understand? The fact that I'm <laughs> always quiet. Yeah, like I'm. Um, I observe first. I observe. I remember. I even remember when I was in the same team, Liamanda. I was so scared to call the ball, and then Coach Vera <laughs> stopped. Like, no, wait. She's like, Linda, here we play soccer. Yeah. <laughs> here we, you call for the ball so i was i was so scared but i'm glad that i had people like amanda janine mbumi there's a lot that they they welcomed me very well so i was, i i settled very well because because of them yeah, so yeah yeah what it was i it was told you i was so scared but yeah <laughs> Were you scared or were you still struck being around them? Because those two, those two things are different. Were you scared or you still struck? You're like, okay, I used to see him pull me playing. I used to see Amanda playing, but now I'm playing with them. Um, scared. I was scared. Yeah, I was, I was scared. And, and and normally when when there's newbies into the team. They always people always pull pranks or do stuff. Was there anything like that done to you to welcome What? you to the team? Normally, Wait, when there's um, any, hmm. I didn't hear what you said. No, I was asking. Um, normally, when a new player comes into a team, be it at the club or a national team, the the guys that I experience normally pull pranks or do something just to welcome you. Um. Did anything like that happen to you? Yeah, I had to dance. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So, so yeah, I had to dance. So, they made a cycle and then I went in so I I had to dance. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but I think that was easy for you because you're always dancing. No, but but I it was not a challenge. Develop a work but try it seeing. So, Yeah, it is difficult. No, oh, okay. Promise Mukwati this as which team are you playing for now, Linda? I play for Jew Gardens now in Sweden. In Sweden. Oh, someone answered answered they play for Jew Gardens. Tembi speaks of uh, coach Cheryl Roberts, I think. I don't coach. know if I'm pronouncing the name. Carol Potes, Potes, yeah, Carol Potes attacks also speaks about their power and uh, coach Denzri the role that they have played in making her the person that she is today but more especially attacks the sports and yeah. you on your side do you share the same sentiments with Timmy because you guys have walked the same path yeah uh coach played a huge role in my life in my soccer career because firstly she's the one who introduced me to the national setup mm. yeah go she was the coach for under 17 and i was 12 when she called me so i was i was so amazed i'm like i'm still young why 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 do you call me she's like that's because i believe in you linda that's because i see the potential in you and i know mm -hmm. you'll do what is needed so she she really she really and like under 20 i was 15 when i went to under 20 if i'm not mistaken she's like you see i'm calling you again go under 20 yeah. while you're young it's because i believe in you and mm. 
it was the time that I was playing as a winger. Kile HPC as a winger. And then she was like, I'm going to change you. You're going to play the number 10 role. So the number 10 role, ki feel like coach Sharon. And then, and then you get Coach Vera. At the age of 17, she calls me. Mm. I'm like, guys, I'm still young. Like, why? She's like, and then she was like, you, Coach Vera, she's like, you need to believe in yourself. So it, it was building up as well. It was that thing of Coach Shell got me when I was young. Even Vera Lene, Ungrak Sampanikili Munyan. And then you get Coach Des Lane, and she's building up to what Coach Cheryl and Coach Vera did to me. So, yeah. Yeah. There's a question they here. Who's your favorite? There's a question here. Who is your favorite Banyana player of all time from Tumza? Banyana player of all time. Um, wow. I can't choose one. Okay, let's, let's just throw a bonus day too. <laughs> okay, I'd say, I'd say, uh, Pumelo Nyan Deni and Amanda Lamini. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. What did you learn? What did you learn being around guys like Abutu, Abumbu, me, Abu Jamain, as someone that's young? And that's something that you say, you know what, even today as a football, I'm still using what I learned from the first time I was around those guys. Uh, honesty. Like when, when, when you watch your, your, your videos, honestly, like Linda, you did not play well today. Do you expect, I got that from Janine. Janine will tell mm. you that Linda, today, today you didn't play well. Like I, I think... That's one of the most important tool, not to fool yourself. If you did not have a good game, it's not the end of the world. You did not have a good game. So it's fine. We learn from it. So I think it's one thing that I learned from them, that be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself the whole time. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Question from Kanya Skoski. How has your time at JWV groomed you to be the player you are today? How is the time? How has your time at JWV, JWV um, groomed you to be the player that you are today? Uh, well, JVW. Ne? The fact that I played with uh, Janine Van Veg, I played with Mamelo Makavani, Amanda Lamini, Mpumi, Yolula. They really helped me to be a disciplined player, to work hard. So I think I think with that, Kyonin Grumilin Hor give it this play, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. And, and, and what what would you say is your is your strongest point as a footballer? My strongest point as a footballer. Yeah. Mm, well, I think it would be... I'm always hungry. Like, I'm never satisfied. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm always hungry, I think. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> did, did I answer... <laughs> <laughs> Did I answer the question? In a way, in a way, we are hungry for success. I was, I'm talking, maybe, let me put it in another way, tactically. Uh -huh. Yeah, let me like, tactically, what's your strongest point? Um, I'm, a, I'm a player that can make things happen. If you need that player, that you <laughs> just, I think, I think, um, a game changer. I'm um, sure um, I'm a game changer, I think. So, so she knows <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, there's a question here from Stera. Stera's, um, which player do you model your game around? 
be either locally or abroad. Which player do I what? Do you model your game around? Who do you look up to? Uh, who do I look up to? I actually look up to myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Yeah. But let me see. I don't know. So growing up, there was no footballer when you watched and you were like, you know what? I want to be like that. I want to be like that person. Iniesta. 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 Okay. It, it, then, was off. it was not off. I want to be like that player. It, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And now you guys got to your move to go and play in um in the USA. You have never played on a professional setup. You only played Banyana. And then boom, you go and play in one of the biggest football leagues when it comes to women's football. How challenging was it for you to adapt so quickly and set your mark in the USA? Aisham, it was it was it was difficult. It was really difficult because the gap, Elia, there's no professional league where I come from to playing go one of the best leagues for girls. It was it was just a huge step. But I had I had Tembi, I had Janine, I had uh Shaleen, I had Coach Vera. So it was it was not that bad at all, but it took mm. me three USA to settle. That's how difficult it was. It took me three months, and I I even remember when Coach Vera said, "Linda, I'm gonna play you a defensive mid." I'm like, okay, I'm up for a challenge, and guess what? I I I, I enjoyed that position. I enjoyed it. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What would you say was was the challenge in you settling in in the US? Was it the type of football that's being played, or the culture, or just the surroundings? Um. I'd say I'd say the 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 the, the environment first the environment and you know your teammates Bazala Bazala England Bazala USA Bazala Yo Canada Bada So whenever I say one touch you move Sila so for now it was it was it was really difficult because one mm -hmm. they compete ka the national teams are one week in week out there's always friendlies week in week out so with us I'm getting really friendly that much, you understand? And they compete against the best national teams, you understand? Mm. So for Rona, it was for me, it was it was it was difficult. It was difficult. So it was yeah. Yeah. Um Lona Lina Mandra is asking how how has balancing sports and education been for you? Uh well, when I HP, HPC really helped me with that because I know in the morning until three, kinakoya skolo, kinakoya skolo, and then from four to like six, it's football, and then half past seven to nine, you study. So I think I think it was, even though it was difficult, but and and sometimes you need to skip football. So that you can study, but it really worked out well for me. Mm. And I remember I, I I even skipped my metric for for the for the Olympic. So it's it's the sacrifices. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. Sacrifices. Yeah. So yeah, and I did my metric the following year. So yeah. When you played in the USA, 
as you said, it took you like three months to settle, get to understand the type of football that's being played there. You say also most of your teammates, um, they play for one of the biggest countries like your Canada, your Germany, the US, and your England. And now you come in, you're from South Africa, you're not used to the way they do things. What's the one thing that you have, what, what you learned playing in the US that you said, you know what, I'm going to take this, take it back home, be it, Bafana, be it at Banyana Banyana or be it wherever I play, I'm going to use it. Uh, let me see. I'd say, I'd say, hmm, that's a good question. I I'd say mentality. Mentality. Okay. Because uh like I said, I was playing Labour but Landy National Team the the top. So they expect about about the mistake. About the mistake you cannot make mistakes. And then to a point where Coach Veran you need to speak up for yourself, Linda. You really do need to speak up for yourself. And there were moments where, uh, like I said, make a defensive mid. And players said, my, my, my teammates were like, Linda, no, Umunya need to play defensive mid. Do you understand? And I was like, it's this thing. This thing. If, if, mm -hmm. if I convince it, Hore, I can, then I will. And mm -hmm. to a point where, the players that said, Linda, you're too small to play this position, they ended up saying, guys, please give Linda the ball because she can make things happen. So it's this. Mm. And standing up for yourself, I guess. So I think it's, it's one thing that I took from playing with teammates that were the long the national team. Yeah. I guess. I'm interested. For, for someone that played as a defensive midfielder, you have, the time you played in the U.S., you have 57%, 7.7% tackles won. Yeah. For someone that has your body, and you have 60% success rate when it comes to duels, like winning. And your pass, your pass rate is 80%, your long pass is there by 49%. So I'm actually looking at this dead and what you said now that most of your players said you have a small body structure for you to play as a defensive midfielder. But when I look at the stats, it says something else and it goes to show that your 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 your, your mental readiness was one thing that worked for you once you played. Yeah. I think I think yeah, this really really did help me. Being being and mental also, strong and and having people like Janine and Tembi to tell me, Linda, if you don't stand up for yourself, nobody will. Yeah. And, and also, how, how, how hard were they like in terms of physique? Were they physical or is it, is it just made of being tactical, the type of football that was played there? They were, they were very physical. They were very physical because Hapoa, you know, most Americans believe in lifting and whatnot. Yeah. So okay, there's a question here from. There's a question from school. What are you doing for young girls in your community who look up to you and want to be where you are? What am I doing for what? For girls in your community who look up to you and want to be like you one day? Well, I haven't done anything yet. I'm, st I'm working on it. So once okay. everything is elaborate, elaborate. so I'm, I'm still working mm. on it. Okay. Yep. There's, another question. There's another question from Park, Park Atlanta. Funny player you've ever played with and what she did. What did she do? Uh, it has to be Nompumelolo Nyandeni. I remember we had coaching clinics. And you know, ba nana ba tsukhile and everything. So, na ba opelisa. Mpumi na ba opelisa. Anza, au ye, bo. 
Ah, yeah. So, so they started enjoying and nebazala. So it it has to be in Pumi. Mm. I see people mm. are complaining about your Wi-Fi here. Yeah. Um, Pulex still Pulex still saying please buy wifi. Hey, you must buy me, he. How? You must buy me. I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, Seventeen Zora says, "Do you think you can be a coach one day?" Sure, I don't have a heart to be a coach. I cannot be a coach. No. Why? Why? Please explain. I would love to know why. I'm too soft, man. I'm too soft. And you know, at times you need to be hard on the players, because some players will just take advantage of you. So with me, no. Do you feel a coach needs to be someone that's firm, or it's just someone that's soft? No, you can't. You can't. Or can someone that's like be all soft. Do you understand? You can't be. So with me, I. Bato dala mo di matuha kana siya. Ne. Yeah. So okay. there's, a, <laughs> there's a message from JVW Girls Football. Hey Linda, we miss you at JVW. Go take on the world. Um, miss you too. I'm a JJ. I'm a Fe. Yeah, and um, promise mo ko tigi. What encourage you to be a footballer? My dad encouraged me to play football, or rather, to be a footballer. Okay, 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 okay. The difference between China and the U.S. China and the okay shop. Um, it has to be. Uh. A level of professionalism, I think. And go China, go China. Like I said, kiritu kuye say they more they they physical, but go China. I think they more physical compared to USA. Mm. We would literally train twice a day. Go China. Where go go USA? We did not really train twice a day. And uh, when I say twice a day in the morning, we are gym, we lift weights, and so there it was more of the physicality than anything. Where go 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 USA, it was not just about that. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the other thing is how easy it is for you. To settle wherever you go, knowing that you have a friend next to you, that you moved to HPC, okay, then you moved to the US. Now you went to China. You still had your friend next to you. That did that make it more easier, more relaxed? You it, in order to it, focus on football. Yeah, it really helped being with someone that you used to. To live a local environment, thing a little grey lamba to. You know, already sure you've got someone that you know, so it really, it really helped me because we're gonna know you're like you are nifa, but I can manage everything because my previous years or teams niki to ko kusha po kuya, understand? Yeah. But now I can be alone, and I know what. Yeah, and I know what to do if things go south. Things go north. Or I know what to do now. Yeah. Okay. There's a question here. I don't know if if you can see that question from City D Love Des. Are you married? Personally, ask. Amen. Amen. I'm not married. <laughs> okay. Um. Pagat Lala. Okay. I think we're gonna leave Pagajala's question for the last five minutes. Not now. We're not gonna ask that question now. So don't say Paga. I don't. I'm not asking your question. Your question is noted. We'll ask it at the end. Seventeen Mzoro is asking, where do you see yourself in the next five years? 
playing in Europe. I don't want to get into details because you know, you know, society is wrong. They're like, it's five years and you haven't achieved your goals. So I wouldn't want to get into details of mm. where I know where I want to be in five years, but rather I want it to just happen and let people see. Oh, okay. Do you understand? So, yeah. Okay. Promise Mukwate is asking, what is your biggest achievement so far? I'd say playing World Cup. Guys, we the... are battling with Linda's is, network. Is it mine now? Linda. Hello. Linda. Hello. I can hear you. Hello. Hi. Linda. Can you hear me now? Nah, your, your network is bad. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can only tell Are we winning? It, it looks fine. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you're back now. You're back now. You're back now. I can. Okay. Someone was asking, what is your biggest achievement so far? Playing World Cup. That is the... And, and playing in Europe. Because I've always wanted to play more Europe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gabinde is asking, if you had to play a different sport, what would it be? Sure. Maybe athletics. Because okay. that's what I used to yeah do before, yeah. Okay, and then there's Talia. Yeah, Dumza. Talia is saying, Dumza, I think your haircut that is dis disturbing the network. Yeah, my network is no, fine. It's, fine. it's yours. No, it's actually. fine, Talia. No, me I'm okay on my side. Okay, so, there's a question from Greta San Cindy. Where have you enjoyed playing the most? SA states, China or Sweden? Where have I? Uh, well, I can't say Sweden because it's a good time in Sweden. Like, so if I had to choose between China and the USA, both guys, but I'd go with USA. You'd go with USA, and why? Uh, I've played against best players. Your Megan Rapino, your Kali Lloyd, your. Uh, ne, so yeah, some okay. K. I've played a so yeah. Okay, now we we coming to the end of the conversation. If you were to choose three people that you were to have lunch with, who will those people be, and why? Tembi. Pule and Amu because they're my babies. The former Scotians. <laughs> yep. Um the most strongest opponent you've ever faced? The most what? The strongest opponent you've ever faced. USA. Okay. Any the type of music that you listen to when you go to a game? I listen to gospel. Did you wanna say I'm a piano? No, I listen to gospel and then two seconds, yeah I'm a piano to get my you know body moving. So yeah. But then, mostly gospel. Just one more. Okay. Um, someone asked the question here, and I, I had that question. Select your five aside and the coach. Five aside and the coach. Yeah. 
to play against my fifers okay i'm going to start with my fifers side my coach is vera pau at the back i have um andi nilamini mhm i have uh i have jenin i have mamelo i have tembi mm. and uh Yeah. And I have Colossa. That's my team. So select your five aside. You are killing me. The coach would be Coach Cheryl. Okay. You can have same players, okay. And they Can't have the same players. Uh-huh. No, I'm saying we can have the same players. Okay. The head coach, Coach Cheryl, goalkeeper, Kaylen. Uh at the back it would be Hmm I have Janine. You have Janine. It will be Enoko. Uh okay. Fifi. Okay. Fifi. Hmm. Jamine. Last two. That's two. It'll be hmm. Did you say Mamelo? Yeah, I said Mamelo. Uh, eh, and you said Colosa. Ha, ah, guys, mm. that's so difficult. <laughs> Al Roda and Okay. Garabo Damini. Okay. Gabin yeah. is asking what's your advice for young and upcoming girls who who play soccer My advice hmm. Oh it would be that they must work hard and this journey it's not easy kunzima it's hard but if it's what you want you'll work for it Okay yes much nice proper Seventeen zero. What is your biggest fear in life? Losing my mom. Okay, okay. That's that's something. That's something. That's something. Okay. When Alinda was a bench, say we in a lot to one. That's from Colos. Yeah, Colos is my player. <laughs> And... <laughs> okay. Um, we've come to the end. Now, please drop the question for the people. You must also not forget to follow us on our our social media platforms. Also follow Macron SA. So yeah, what's the question? How many goals did Banyana score 2012 Olympics? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm checking that question. So guys, uh you have until Friday answer that question it's Linda how many goals did Banyana score 2012 Olympic games yes so yeah drop us the answer either on Instagram or Twitter tag Macron SA follow Macron SA the winner will be announced Friday is then a chance to win a club Bruges jersey and you know what it's a special jersey with Pesita who has just won the league the club Bruges club job Miss Linda, someone is just asking, can you dance before you leave? Can I? I'm tired. Unfortunately, <laughs> Unfortunately I'm too tired. You're too tired. Uh, Linda, thank you for your time. Um, I appreciate it. Even though the network was sabotaging us. Currently, it is. Apparently. Oh, okay, never. No, 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 no. <laughs> never. I all I always sit at the same spot. Everything is on the same spot. Uh, so I haven't, I haven't had the network issues on my side. People eat too. Yeah. Uh, okay. But yeah, thank you man and um, all the best in your football endeavors. We all waiting for you to come back and play. after this lockdown is done and everything but yeah 
Thank you for your time. And also, I saw a comment from Skudumo Kuruvela. We were saying a female version of, so maybe he thinks you are the female version of him. Skudumo Kuruvela. Uh, I guess. We'll never know. We'll never know. Okay. Mm. Thank you for your time. Feeling me for the first time. Okay. <laughs> Google feeling me for the first time. No, you can't Google the answer. You must go to states. If you have your states, you will find the answer. You won't find the answer on Google. Trust me, you're not going to. Yeah? I hope you know the answer. You want me to tell you the answer now? Uh, no. Right. I'm checking my hope. Oh, I know the answer. Mm-hmm. Donna, thank you for your time. Yeah? All right. Yeah. Thank you. Shep, shep. Thank you. Bye.